Hey guys, I am in Singapore and this is part 3 of my Singapore solo travels. If you haven't checked out the other parts then you should go do that. And without further ado, let's get started with this one. It's good morning. Good morning. It is day 2 in Singapore and what are our plans for today? We are going to Mustafa night safari. Yes. Hey guys, official day 2 in Singapore. Am I ready yet? No, but I am wearing my dress. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a bit, but basically today we are going to Mustafa Market because I need to get gifts for my family and for my friends. So I'm gonna record that. Then I think we are gonna come back home. And later today we have, like I said, tickets for the night safari. So today is a pretty good plan. We are ready. Show me your outfit. She is dressed up as a unicorn today. Uh, we also have. a plan made for all the 7 days of the week i'm actually going on sunday today is sunday i'm going on next sunday so i have exactly like 6 days 7 days uh, but from tomorrow you have school we will i'll come back and play with you we can make videos in the morning when we get on tomorrow so uh, i have brought us dollars mm -hmm. with me so i need to get them exchanged mm -hmm. because to buy anything i need the singapore money yeah you need singapore money because this is singapore yes <laughs> they will not take american dollars they won't they won't take rupees they won't take rupees also they will take dollars and what we're going to do is we're going to go to mustafa and mm. at mustafa there is a money changer Okay, enough chit chat. You're gonna see all of it anyways. But uh, to get to Mustafa Market, we took an MRT from Pangol uh, to Farah Park, which is probably the closest station I think to Mustafa. And then the market is at walking distance from there. It was so crowded, and I'm not even talking about the metro station. I'm talking about the market. Like literally, there was no space to walk. I mean, it makes sense because it was Sunday. Although it was even more difficult for us because we had a stroller with us, so it was very difficult to navigate. But thankfully, we had the entire first half in hand, right? So we could spare the extra time. But it was genuinely like heaven. I could spend an entire day there. Like they had everything from makeup to electronics to clothes, handbags. food of course chocolates gifts whatever i apologize for these shaky videos real quick i had a basket in hand was trying to buy things was also recording at the same time so it was kind of difficult okay <laughs> really a typical indian market it has churi bangles every indian thing you could possibly think of in the grocery section too like there's from everything from haldi ram and pani puri and all of that but i'm actually shopping for the live chocolates that was really all i could record there because after a while it got really busy especially at the checking out counter so then we crossed the street and went to this dining place uh, balaji bhavan where i had south indian which was completely authentic it was like the best <laughs> south indian food i've had in a while um i'm having dosa right now and balaji bhavan i am also going to eat dosa yes she ordered a dosa i ordered a dosa and some sholi bhature So I want loads of chocolates for my friends as you know gifts to give. There is also a Malabar dwellers and uh, there is a mosque. but it's yeah. started raining oh no <laughs> it is 4:39 oh, oh, oh. and we have to leave at 5:30 so we have exactly an hour uh we have to leave for the safari right i am bringing apple juice so i am so tired i am in my night suit again Ap will... apple juice is good for your health <laughs> i am ready for the night safari now and the weather actually has gotten really really better because it rained uh, so i hope it's not as hot as it is every day so we decided to take a taxi so here's us crossing the mati station to get to the taxi stand but the thing is that the situation in singapore is such that the taxi like never really shows up so that is exactly what happened with us 
so we had to take the MRT. But guys, it was one of the most picturesque MRTs, and uh, we crossed the river or something. I'm not quite sure, but it was extremely gorgeous. And that was not it. We had to get down and then take a bus to the zoo, uh, which I'm guessing is a more inconvenient way. It might have taken longer, but it was definitely way more fun. We had to change a metro and then now we have to take a bus to reach the zoo where we have the night safari. Yeah. One of the most famous things to do in Singapore is go to the night safari and if you've come to Singapore you just cannot miss it. The queue is extremely long. From what I remember, do not trust my memory, but still, I think it took us like 30 minutes at max for our turn to come because the line was moving really, really fast. Does Apple reduce the quality of the videos when it's dark? I'm not really sure, but my videos really prove that it does. So yeah, it totally does reduce the quality. We are done with the safari. The safari was really fun, you know? And we could see everything really up close, but it was extremely short. Like it must have been, we saw like five animals or six animals up close. So the video quality was kind of bad. It was because it was, just, it was dark, right? It was not bad. Video quality. <laughs> the video quality was bad because you weren't letting me switch on the flash. No, but it's dangerous. And it was calling it flash. Flash, it's really she is adorable. So basically what we did was tell her that if you switch on the flash, animals come to pounce on you. Which could be true, but ma'am took it way too seriously. So you want that. Yeah. So we'll do 45. And then... Mm, then... Oi. Wow! Yeah. Show me, show me what you got. Show me. Show the video. Yes, she got strawberry. Mm -hmm. I got a Hershey's Cornetto. So we decided to head back home because we did not want to eat dinner at the cafeteria because they mostly had Indian food. Also, very cool thing, uh, the bus we came by and like went by was free of cost, which is very surprising. Okay, back to point. So we decided to have the best thing ever, McDonald's. No guys, we definitely had an ulterior motive because it was actually Mother's Day and we needed to get a cake for my aunt. But then we stumbled upon another situation and it was that almost all the joints were closed except for a couple of fast food ones but still we found a place which had pastries we are taking takeout because we did not want to eat anything available at the safari cafeteria because i'm honestly there were very few options and it was only indian so we decided to take mcdonald's again because guys who doesn't love mcdonald's so we got that and also today is mother's day and we did not do anything the entire day so we are here ordering like two pastries we are getting that and it's pretty late it's like 10 10 30 so we're gonna surprise it now there is a huge jump over here to the next day so i had my food and immediately went back to sleep and then i well fast forward to today wake up and i went to get my sister from school the school was gorgeous what really happened in the morning was that I woke up at 11 a.m. like very comfortably and I woke up and I wouldn't have even done that if my mom wouldn't have called me so I brushed my teeth and then I ate breakfast and then I was told that in 15 minutes we have to leave because I have to pick up my cousin from the school <laughs> so I kind of just ran did not record anything I was just literally wearing slippers jeans and a this top that's it that's it later I was supposed to go to the mall to buy makeup for my sisters but then I forgot my wallet 
so i could not even go to the mall but now it's full so we have the ferris wheel ticket today yeah that's that's really just a plan for today your girl is ready and then i quickly headed downstairs to the mall below to get the couple of makeup items i needed for my sisters i did not really record that a lot because worrying over makeup is not very fun to record then we headed to the mrt station got to our destination and um yeah time to look for where we have to go we took a metro and now we are walking to the ferry which is i think known as singapore flyer uh, so we are walking till there like from the mrt the distance is Quite long. I mean, not too long, but still, there is enough for me to do. Honestly, I had very low expectations. I thought, you know, you share tickets, you get another capsule. That's pretty much it. But that's not true. There was so much you had to do and can do before actually experiencing the whole Ferris wheel thing. It was really fun. photos they were clicking were apparently free of cost that's what they told us and you could get it after you were done with the ride but we forgot so we could never really get it oh it was so pretty we went on the like most perfect time ever because we were supposed to go earlier during daytime and then we got late and it got dark and the city lights were on and it was so absolutely gorgeous hi hi guys we are in the capsule right now and uh, we're just taking pictures and having fun right the ride was really really fun very very slow and my cousin could not even feel it moving and then we went to the little gift shop down below we just crossed it and uh, there were cute stuff in there i got that pretty little tote bag the singapore classic singapore tote bag it was really cute We were looking for a place to eat in and somehow there was like nothing available and then we just stumbled upon this place which had an Indian buffet so we were like why not and it was really nice food too And that brings us to the end of this week's video. I know today's video did not have a lot of fun content in it, but I did not want it to get too long. So you'll have to wait another week for the fun we had at Sentosa. That was definitely my favorite day. But anyways, till then, like, share, subscribe, and comment, and bye.